upper termination of high voltage shielded cable. The tools and parts required for the HVSC upper termination include compression or mechanical crimping tool to suit a 50mm crimp lug, a sharp knife, a Phillips head screwdriver, a shifting spanner or 14mm spanner, two screwdrivers for use as friction cutting tool handles, a heat gun or gas torch, a tape measure, a marker or pen, combination pliers or cutters, and the terminal base assembly supplied with the terminal. The upper termination kit comprises a set of instructions, a roll of semiconductive tape, one 50mm crimp lug, one 1200m long heat shrink tube, and one 600mm long heat shrink tube, an insulation friction cutting tool, and one roll of insulation tape or 50mm packing tape. The following steps outline the upper termination of the high voltage shielded cable. Remove the black PVC outer sheath for a length of 165 centimeters by cutting radially around the HVSC cable with the supplied friction tool. This is less likely to damage individual copper conductors than by cutting with a knife. The lengthwise cut is completed with a knife. Do not damage the white inner insulation during the process. Remove the clear plastic lining over the copper. Measure and mark the outer copper screen wires at 3 cm above the end of the black outer sheath. Using the cutters, carefully cut and remove the wires again without damaging the white inner insulation. Use the insulation friction cutting tool to remove the white inner insulation to expose the inner copper conductors for a length of 5 centimeters from the top end of the HVSC. Fold back the inner copper conductors to expose the black filler core. Cut and remove the core with a knife. Return the copper conductors to their original position. Using the crimp lug supplied, crimp the inner copper conductors in the lug using a suitable compression or mechanical crimping tool. Connect the crimp lug to the terminal base assembly using the bolt and washers supplied with the assembly. Ensure that the connection is aligned correctly and tightly secured using a 14mm spanner or shifter. Use a marker or a pen to mark 30cm intervals on the white insulation between the end of the outer screen conductors and the crimp lug. This will act as a guide to continue wrapping the tape towards the crimp lug in a course spiral of 5 turns from the outer copper screen to the crimp lug. Using the semiconductive tape provided, commence winding the tape two centimeters in front of the copper screen conductors. Stretch and wrap the tape back over the conductors with a 50% overlap and continue until the tape covers three centimeters of the black sheath. This should use about 50 centimeters of tape. Do not cut the tape at the stage. Overwrap the tape back towards the original starting point, but again, do not cut the tape at this stage. Continue to wrap the tape around the white insulation with only slight tension. 
ensure that the tape is not too loose. The spiral needs to be applied with an even pitch to achieve the best performance. Once the tape has reached the crimp, stretch the tape using a 50% overlap to cover the last 3 centimeters of the white insulation, continue over the brass connector and up to the black plastic section of the terminal base assembly. Cover the connector with tape whilst maintaining a smooth and level finish. Use the supplied insulation tape or packing tape to cover the coarse spiral section of semiconductive tape. This ensures it stays in place during the heat shrink application. Straighten the cable as much as possible and carefully slip the 1200mm length of heat shrink tube over the cable until the end of the tube covers and overlaps the end of the semiconductive tape on the black outer sheath by 3 centimeters. Use a heat gun or a gas torch to shrink the lower end onto the black outer sheath first and then work up to the other end. Distribute the heat evenly as too much heat in one area will cause damage to the heat shrink or cable. Place the 600mm heat shrink tube over the cable. At this stage ensure the semiconductive tape is not damaged. Overlap the previous tube by about 3 centimeters. Shrink 7 centimeters of the upper end of the tube into place so that it sits flush with the base of the mask butt adapter when fitted into place. Shrink the other end so that it overlaps the previous heat shrink tube by 3 centimeters. Continue along the full length to achieve a smooth overall finish. Place the mask butt adapter section and ensure that the bolt is tight and secure. The lugged HVSC is now ready for connection to the base of the terminal. Screw the terminal on to the completed base assembly and secure with the supplied M6 locking grub screw.